What's up guys, Jason here with feelawesomecompany.com and in this video I'm going to go over the benefits of magnesium glycinate for anxiety as well as one potential uh, side effect and drawback to it. Now before I jump into the video, if it's your first time here, I'm Jason and this channel is all about health, nutrition, supplementation, and everything to help you feel awesome. And if that sounds good to you, consider subscribing. Now, magnesium glycinate is one of my uh, favorite supplements when it comes to anxiety because it's incredibly effective, it's relatively inexpensive, plus there's a lot of other uh, additional uh, health benefits to it to go along with helping with anxiety. And so, now, the first benefit I want to cover is that it, Magnesium glycinate can help to relax your muscles, which if you have really tense muscles, this can be a, a contributing factor towards anxiety. So just kind of helping to relax your muscles, relax your body. This can also help to relax your mind and ease your anxiety symptoms. Now, the second benefit I want to go over is that magnesium glycinate can help to increase uh, the neurotransmitter GABA, which GABA acts kind of as a uh, counterpart to uh, glutamate, which glutamate is a very excitatory neurotransmitter, and GABA is much more calming and relaxing. So by increasing your levels of GABA, this can help to uh, reduce your anxiety, and it also just kind of helps to uh, promote like a sense of happiness and calmness as well. Now, the third benefit is that magnesium glycinate can help to decrease cortisol, which cortisol is our uh, main stress hormone. And when your cortisol is elevated, uh, it can definitely have an impact on increasing your anxiety, it can increase your heart rate, it can make you feel uh, stressed out, and it just, you know, puts you in that fight or flight mode. And so by taking magnesium glycinate, this can help to uh, bring your cortisol levels down a little bit, which can help to ease your anxiety symptoms. Now, the next benefit is that magnesium glycinate can help to reduce inflammation and having uh, high levels and uh, chronic inflammation, this can be, in some cases, the main uh, root cause of anxiety for a lot of people. And even if it's not the main cause, it's still a major contributing factor towards anxiety. So helping to uh, bring your inflammation down uh, can definitely improve your symptoms. And now the last benefit I want to cover is that magnesium glycinate supports a healthy sleep. And it's something that I know when I take it, I uh, definitely get to sleep uh, much easier. And it just really kind of helps to relax you and gets you into that mode to where you can fall asleep easy. But something else I notice is that besides getting to sleep easier, I also tend to sleep a little bit longer and also deeper on the nights that I take magnesium glycinate. And when you get healthy sleep, you get enough sleep, you get good quality sleep, uh, this can help to, you know, reduce your anxiety throughout the, throughout the day. Now, those are some really good benefits to magnesium glycinate for your anxiety, uh, but there is one uh, main uh, potential side effect to it and that is because magnesium glycinate tends to be very relaxing it can also make it sometimes a little bit too relaxing and it might make you sleepy which you know at night is a great thing but if you have a lot of anxiety in the morning or early afternoon and you take magnesium glycinate it might just kind of zap your energy and make you tired for the rest of the day so it might not be the right supplement for that time for you. Now, you could have, it could have different effects on you, uh, but generally, I know when I uh, take it, when I've taken it in the past, uh, in the morning or afternoon, it, it really just kind of just over relaxes me for pretty much the rest of the day. So if it has those effects on you as well, a good alternative I've found is magnesium malate. 
Now, magnesium malate uh, doesn't have as powerful of effects as far as reducing anxiety compared to magnesium glycinate, but it does still help to provide some relief and it does that without making you tired, without making you sleepy. And so it's just a really good alternative option for it. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, got some value out of it. And if you did, um, I'd appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see more content just like this, subscribe to the channel. And then that way I will see you in the next video. Peace.